Welcome to Jungit Games. Today we'll be playing through a full three-player game of Ganymede. Now I will be teaching the rules to this game while we're playing it, and I would like to ask that you please turn on the Klingon subtitles, so that if any mistakes are made, I can then put corrections on the screen and you should be able to see them. Now what's going on in this game is each player is competing to send the best settler ships out of the solar system, and they have to launch them from Ganymede. Now the problem is that you have to get to the settlers from Earth over to Ganymede, and each player will do that by taking these face-up cards from the middle of the table that will shuttle specific settlers from Earth to Mars, and then from Mars over to Ganymede. Now players are going to compete for the cards that make the most sense for what they have at the moment, and these cards can combo off of each other, so you can take a series of small impact turns and then have a huge turn uh, doing a whole bunch of things based off of the things that you have set up. Now, I will explain how all of this works while we're playing it, and uh, before we jump in, I would like to ask that if you enjoy this video, you please consider clicking the like button for it, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Also, if you would like to directly support the channel and the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support to see a variety of ways with which you could do that, including voting on some of the playthroughs that I film each month. Alright, without further ado, let's jump into the game. Out here we have the game fully set up for our three different players. Now it is worth noting that this is a retail version of the game, but I have gone ahead and added these colored cubes in so that it's easier to tell the difference between the different players. Now we are going to play the game from the perspective of the red player over here. So let's go ahead and start things off with our first turn. Now the main goal of this game is to get settlers over here onto these settlement ships, and they are out at Ganymede, and settlers always start on Earth. That means we have to make settlers on Earth, and then get them to the transfer station on Mars, and finally over to these ships where once they are full, we can send them out of the solar system, and ultimately these are going to generate the vast majority of the points that we get in this game. Now we can see that this settlement ship wants three of the same type of worker, but it doesn't matter which. Whenever you see the white, that means it's any of the colors. And then down here, this one wants exactly one of each of the four different types of settlers. Now that we have the end goals in mind, we can take our first turn. And the way we do that is we are always going to take one action from a choice of three different options. Now those three options are printed up here in the top left of our board. And this first one says we can take a settler tile. Those in general put settlers down here on Earth, which does seem like a good idea. The second option says we can take a Earth or a Mars transfer card, which is going to move the settlers up the chain. And lastly, this one right here lets us use settler tiles that we've already taken to do some basic actions. Now, it seems pretty obvious that the first thing we should do is get a settler tile because at the start of the game, we have no settlers at all. Now the way we do this is we simply choose any one of these four face-up settler tiles down here, and then we evaluate the benefits of that tile. Now at the moment we have one of these for each of the four uh, types of settlers, and it always starts the game in this way. And choosing the color is important, and that is because if we look up here to the second row, we will see the earth transfer cards. Now what these do is they will transfer a certain type of uh, worker from Earth over to Mars, and likewise, these cards will transfer certain sets of workers from Mars all the way over to Ganymede. Uh, lastly, these cards up here are more settler ships that we can pick up uh, once we start to actually send some people out of the solar system. So if you look down here, I think we should grab this one because that will get us one of these blue settlers. Now that's important because if we look up here at the Earth transfer line, just one of them actually cares about the blue settlers, and it also needs a white settler, which again can be any of these different colors. Now when uh, we take this one and put it over on Earth, then next turn we will likely take another settler, and the turn after that I'm hoping that this will be available for us because we will likely be the only people with a blue and one other thing, and then we can take this to transfer the blue and another settler to Mars, as well as evaluate the bonus down here which generates another one of these settlers. This is the only one of the Earth transfer cards that, as a bonus, makes more settlers, and I think uh, at the start of the game we don't have many, so targeting a plan that gets us more of them is probably a good idea. So let's slide the settler tile right over here along the top, and you will notice that there are just three spots for it. That means we can only have three of these settler tiles, and if we take a fourth one, then we will have to discard them. Also, I did mention that the third option on our turn is we can discard some of these tiles in order to get some benefits. Now that we have put this over here, we can activate it, and there is an important bonus that could potentially happen. Before we actually take this blue settler and we take this bonus right here, we have to look over here and see how many settler tiles we now have that match this specific symbol in the top left corner. 
Now, there are four of these, and if, for instance, we had another one uh, in this spot that we'd chosen earlier, and we put this one right here, then we would have two of those, and that means we would evaluate this new tile twice. Now, obviously, at the start of the game, we only have one tile, so that means we will get the one uh, blue settler right here, and this icon means we can pick up a new settler uh, ship card and put it into our hand so that we can hold on to those and potentially use those to replace these once we send them out of the system. So let's go ahead and draw one of these up, although we are also allowed to draw one from the top of the deck whenever we evaluate that symbol right there. Now, the way these work is they have various conditional abilities or even discounts. We can see this is just worth four victory points at the end of the game. These stars are victory points, but this one can be sent out of the solar system at a discount of one less person. So that's certainly nice considering this game is a bit of a race to get these out. And then this one over here is worth two points per settler tile that you have in your area when the game is over. We can move on, and this one is worth one point per uh, transfer card that they have that has a yellow worker on it. And lastly, this one gives four points and immediately bumps you up the reputation track. Now, I'll talk about the reputation track relatively soon here, but for now, I think we just want to go nice and easy and just take the discount one. Uh, this is going to allow us to send this out earlier, which is certainly nice especially when you consider the fact that the game will end as soon as any one player has sent four of these out of the solar system, or if any of the two transfer decks for Earth or Mars have been depleted. So it is certainly a race to try and get four of these done. Uh, once that happens, we will go ahead and finish the round, so everybody will always have the same number of turns. But either way, I think getting a discount is nice to try and get a leg up on getting these ships out of the system. At this point, we have now finished out our turn, but before we can move over to the green player, we have to fill in all of these blank spots on the board. Now, the actual positioning of these different cards and tiles on the board does not matter, so we don't have to slide anything around. We can just add this right over here, and that one generates a yellow or a purple settler, and then we can pull another one of these settler ships out, and it looks like this one is worth two points for every one of the uh, transfer cards that you have that match that blue symbol at the end of the game. So obviously there are a couple of those out right now, and this might be particularly good for a player who happens to draw several of these cards. It's now time for the green player to take their turn, and it's going to be pretty similar to ours considering they also don't have any settlers. They're going to begin things off by taking this tile right here. And we can see that this is obviously the first of the yellow settler tiles that they have, so it's only going to evaluate once, and that means they will get a yellow settler here on Earth, and they get to draw one more settlement ship card. After looking at their options, they want to grab this one right here that's worth four points and comes with a reputation track bump. And now they're done with their turn, so we can refill all of these holes. It looks like this one is worth four points, and it lets you bring in another settler to Earth when you send this out. And then we can pull one more settler tile, and this one makes a blue or a purple settler. It's now time for blue to take their turn, and they've decided to grab this tile that just came out. This means they can take a blue or a purple uh, settler, and they've decided to go with a blue one. Now, it is worth noting that in a three-player game, you only have 10 each of these different types. So if we run out, then no more will be available until these settlers actually leave the solar system and then cycle back over here into the supply. Obviously, the blue player only evaluates this once since it's their first turn, and they just took the one blue settler, and that's going to finish out their turn. So we can now draw the top tile from here, and it is a red symbol up here. Now we get to take our next turn, and we were certainly hoping to grab a blue symbol one, because again, if we had that match, then we would get to do the effects of that tile twice. In this case, I think we should take one of these red ones, so that hopefully the other one will still be available on a future turn to double up on the red. That does still seem pretty good. And let's take this one right here. I don't feel a strong urge to try and pick up another one of these settler ships just yet. Uh, there's lots of good options in there. And this one lets us take a red or a yellow settler. Now, if we look out here, we could just take this card on the next turn if we take a red one, because it just needs one red. Now, there's no bonus down here, but there is certainly reasons to try and have more of these transfer cards. And because of that, I think let's go ahead and do that. We will grab the one red settler. Again, we only get to do this once because this is the first red settler tile that we have. So we can add this right over here and put the red settler on Earth. Now, if you notice, the Earth can only hold six of these settlers, and Mars can only hold five. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, you don't want to hoard too long. You do have to actually move these people over and get them out of the solar system. That's going to finish out our turn, so we can draw the next tile, and it's a purple one, and it lets you get a purple or a red settler. 
At this point, it's time for the green player to take their turn, and it looks like they're interested in grabbing this settler tile here. Now, when they bring this over here to their settler tile area, we can see they already have one of these yellows, so they now have two yellow total, which means they get to do this tile twice. Now, every time they activate this, they can choose to take either a yellow or a purple settler. And in this case, they want to do purple twice, so they can add both of those right over here. And that's going to finish out their turn. So we can draw another one of these settler tiles, and there's lots of purple out here now, and it's time for the blue player to make a pick. And it seems they want to grab this settler tile right here. When they add this right over here, we can see they just have one of these purple settlement tiles, so they only get to do this once, and they've decided to take a red settler and add them over there. That's going to finish out their turn, so we can reveal this one, and that lets you get a purple settler or a bump on the reputation track. And now it's time for us to take our turn, and after spending two turns taking these settler tiles, I think it's time to finally start transferring people over to Mars. At the moment, we can see that we have a blue and a red settler here on Earth, and that means we could choose this one right here. That would move just the red settler, and we would get no bonus. Or we could choose this one, which we've been targeting since the very beginning of the game. That needs one of any color and a blue, and I think this is the one we want to go. Uh, as I mentioned before, it has this bonus down here, which is going to get us more settlers, and that does seem good. So let's pick this one up here. So let's come back over here to our area, and now you'll notice these five columns on the bottom of the board. These are associated with the five different colored transfer cards that we can pick throughout the game. Now the color of the card is always going to match at least one of the uh, movement for the settlers along the top. So every white card will have at least one white, every red card will have at least one red on it. And now we have to go ahead and move these settlers. So we have to move the blue, and we have to move one other one. Well, we only have two, so this is pretty simple. We can head them right over here, but it is worth noting that this is a forced transfer. And if, for instance, there was already four settlers here on Mars, then only one of these two would fit in, and the other one would be lost in space, and we would lose them. So we definitely have to make sure that we are managing our settlers well. Now, the next thing that happens is that we get to take the bonus at the bottom of this transfer card that we just took. Now, we're going to get that bonus times the number of that specific color transfer card that we have already. This is obviously our first white card, so that's going to be this bonus times one. So we're going to get one blue uh, settler right over here. But as you can see, we are incentivized to try and keep getting more transfer cards that match this color. Uh, in much the same way, we want to keep getting the settler tiles that match colors, because the more matching you get, the more your bonuses will uh, multiply, and that is certainly a good thing. Now, with that in mind, there is a perk for going wide, and that involves this line that you see going all the way across here to this symbol. Now that shows a little ship and a little planet there. That is the immediate launch symbol. So as soon as any player has one set of all five of the different types of transfer cards, they can immediately launch either one of these ships, whether or not they are full of the uh, required settlers. Uh, normally these ships launch uh, by themselves. There's a free action once they're full. But by getting a nice full set here, you can launch them quicker. And that's certainly good considering this game will end as soon as one person has launched four of these ships. Now, at this point, I think we should probably also mention this reputation track going down the middle of the board because I've mentioned it a few times. Now, every time you get a reputation bump, you will move this token over, and the little star value over these regions shows you how many points you will get at the end of the game if your marker is in that zone. Also, if you land on one of these gears, then you get to take a basic action, which involves things like getting new settlers, moving settlers, and getting new settler ship cards. Now, I'll explain how all of that works when we get to there, but it is worth noting that if anybody gets to the very end of their reputation track, then they once again get one of these symbols, which will automatically launch one of their ships. So there is a nice incentive to go up that track as well. At this point, our turn is done, so we can reveal another one of these Earth to Mars transfers. We can put that right there, and now the green player gets to pick. After considering their options, they want to take this Earth to Mars transfer, and then they can add this right down here into their purple column. Now that means they have to move a purple and a yellow from Earth to Mars, so they can take these two over there. And then as a bonus, they get to get a movement equal to the number of purple cards they have, which is currently one. So when you do a movement action, you can essentially follow any one of these arrows, including going from one of the settler ships to the other over here on Ganymede. But in this case, they have decided they're just going to pull this one right over here to Mars with them. With that, the green player's turn is done, so we can reveal this one over here, and now blue gets to take a pick. And they're going to grab this settler tile right here. 
Once they add this into the top, we can see that they have two of these purple tiles. That means they get to do this twice. And they've decided to take a purple and a yellow settler and add them over here onto Earth. That's going to finish out their turn, so we can reveal this tile right here. And this one uh, gives you the option of getting red settlers, or you can get extra movement out on your board. At this point, it's time for us to take our next turn, but before we do it, I think we should take a closer look at the settlement ships that we started the game with. Now this one right here is worth four points, and when we send it off, we will get two free movements, which certainly could be really nice for finishing out another one of these settlement ships. And this one right here is going to be worth two points at the end of the game for every one of the yellow cards that we have drafted throughout the game. Unfortunately for us, right now, the only yellow card that's an option is going to be this Mars transfer, and it wants a yellow, blue, and a purple settler on Mars. And right now, we just have a blue one, so I'm not sure if we can really hunt for that one right now. So instead, I think considering we have one red and one blue settler tile already, let's just spend this turn getting another one of these red settler tiles so that we can evaluate it a couple times. Now, our options are this one, which would get us either two reds, a red and a move, or two movement, or this one, which would get us two reds as well as two of the settler ship cards. Now, you're only allowed to hold four of those settler ship cards at maximum, but I figure grabbing a couple of these and then maybe playing towards them is not a bad idea, so let's take this tile here. Let's nestle this right along the top, and that is our second red, so we get two red settlers right now, and then let's grab two more settler ships. At the moment, our face-up options are this one, which is worth two points for every one of the blue uh, transfer cards that you pick up throughout the game. So far, we have not picked up any of those, and we're not ready to grab any at the moment. This one right here is worth two points for every one of those settler tiles you have at the game ends. This is worth points for just having the transfer uh, cards with the yellow uh, settlers on them, and this one just comes in with a uh, settler as a bonus when you take it. Now, I think that maybe what we should do is just go random from the top. That is also an option. So for this first one, we will take this, and this is just going to let you score your reputation again. So this could be worth zero to six points. So we will probably do this one if we start actually moving up the reputation track. And then for the other one, I figure maybe let's just grab, well, we could take this one right here. That would definitely motivate us to try and get uh, these blue transfer cards in addition to the yellow ones, which we already want. Yeah, that seems like a decent strategy. We're now done with our turn, so we can refill these spots, and this one's simple, it's just five victory points. And then down here, we found a white settler tile. Now this one gets you a move, as well as allowing you to grab another settler ship. It's now time for green to take their turn, and they want to pick up this shuttle card from Mars. Now they can add this right over here, and you can see that they have to move two of their purple settlers from Mars over here to Ganymede, but they also have to discard one of their settler tiles. So they will get rid of this one, and it's going to go to a face-up discard pile. They of course have to move both of these purple, and they're going to move them right over here to this ship, because it just needs three of the same color to launch. Next up, we can look down here and see that this is the second purple shuttle that they've taken, so they get to take this gear bonus twice. Now the gear bonus allows you to do a basic action, and you can see them printed down here on your board. Now the first thing you could do with each one of these actions is you can just take one of any color settler and put them on Earth. The next is you can do a movement. This one right here lets you change the color of any of your settlers wherever they are to another color. This one lets you move up here on the leader track, and finally this one lets you pick up another settler ship. So they could do any of those actions twice, and one option is they could change this yellow into a purple, and then for the second one, move it over here and then send this shuttle off. But they are okay with waiting a little bit. Instead, what they're going to do is use both of those moves to move this token forward twice. Now when this gets to the second spot, they are stopping there, and that means they get to activate this, which is going to get them another one of these basic actions. And with that one, they're going to go ahead and change the color of this to purple. Because of this, they just need a single move to get this settler over here, and by doing it this way, they've gone up twice over here on the reputation track. Now, if you look over here at their rewards for their settle ships, this one right here is just worth whatever their reputation track will be, and this one gives them a bump up that track. So obviously, the green player is really trying to focus on getting this track up high. At this point, green is done with their turn, though, so now the blue player gets to choose. After considering their options, they want this shuttle right here from Earth. At this point, the blue player has just been focusing on getting these settler tiles, and this is the first one of their shuttles. Now they can put this right here, and that will move a red and a purple over here to Mars, and this is the first of their reds, so they get this bonus once, and that's just going to move them up once on their reputation track. So let's go ahead and fill this spot right in, and now we get to take our turn. 
Now, obviously, we have a ton of different options available to us, but this card that just came out does seem pretty good. Now, remember, we picked up this uh, settle ship right here that will give us two points for every one of the blue cards, uh, the blue shuttles that we have at the end of the game. And, of course, we haven't played this just yet, but if I look out here, well, we could use this on this turn, and it would generate another settler for ourselves. And then we would be setting ourselves up to be able to take this one next round, and I don't think anybody else can actually do this. Uh, nobody's in a position to have two of the blue settlers on Mars. And if we did that, that would be the second blue in a row, and then we would get two of those basic actions, which are obviously very flexible and we would also have two of these blue cards in the bank that seems like a pretty good set of turns so let's grab this and then we can add it over here to this column now that means we get to move this blue settler to mars and we do have to discard one of our settled tiles and i think we can get rid of this one and maintain these two reds to uh, potentially have a really strong settled tile action maybe on the next turn and now we go over here and we can pick up one settler of our choice and put them down here on earth now, in order to figure out which one we should take, we should look at these shuttles. Now, the Earth shuttles are all about red and a wild, so it doesn't really matter for that. And then up here, the only yellow card that's currently available does need yellow. And in fact, we know that it's, well, very likely that we will end up sending this ship off at some point, which means we do want to gather some yellow shuttles. And all of the yellow shuttles are going to um, need to move around some of these yellow settlers. So let's take one of those. That's going to finish out our turn so we can reveal the next card and the green player can pick. Now they don't currently have any settlers on earth so they're definitely taking one of these tiles and they decide to go with this one. When they add that over here we can see that they just have one of these red symbols for their settled tiles and they can either take a red settler or take a movement and that movement would put this purple one over here which would send off this ship but they're feeling like they should probably get some more settlers so they will grab the red and put them over here on earth. They can finish out their turn by drawing another settled tile, and now the blue player can go. After considering their options, they want this Earth Shuttle. And when they put this over here, they of course have to discard one of these settled tiles, and then they can move any of their settlers from Earth, and it's going to be this blue over here. With that, they're now done with their turn, so we can reveal this card, and ooh, that's really quite good for us. Obviously, we are trying to hunt out some of these yellow shuttles, and we do indeed have a yellow settler that we can move now because we picked up one last round. So I think this is a pretty easy grab. Let's go ahead and take this, and we can add this right over here, and that'll be worth two points to us at the end of the game if we do send this shuttle off. And of course, we have to move our yellow settler right up here. We can finish out our turn by drawing this card, and green now gets to take an action. After considering their options, they want this settler tile right here. And when they add that right up here, we can see they now have two of those yellow, so they get to do this twice. Now, for the first activation, they're going to move this purple over here using that arrow. And with the second one, they are going to grab a yellow settler right here. Now, their turn is over, but we can see that uh, for the first time in the game, one of these settler ships is full with the appropriate type of settlers. We see three of a kind. So that means these are all going to be removed back to the supply, and they have now taken this. Now, it's going to be worth four points to them at the end of the game, and they immediately get this reward. That's going to bump their reputation up once, and then this will go face up in front of them. So that's one of the potential four that, of course, is going to end the game as soon as anyone has that many. Now, whenever a settler ship leaves the solar system, a player gets to take one of these four and then put a new one down onto the spot on their board, and it looks like the green player wants to grab this one here. This will get added into their hand of these, and now they can choose. And it looks like the one they want is this right here that they picked up earlier, and it's no surprise to see that that one is going to bump their reputation track a little bit more as well. Green's turn is done, but we do have to refill all of these tracks. So we can put a settler tile there, and we get one more of these settle ships. At this point, the blue player can go, and they want to pick up this settle tile. When they bring this over here, we can see that this is actually their third purple tile, and that means they get to do this action three times. For the first two of those actions, they are going to bring over purple settlers, and for the third one, they're going to gain one reputation. Now, it's going to bring them to the second spot, which will give them one basic action. And if you remember, our little cheat sheet is down here, but we can also see it up there. And they could take a person, move a person, change a color, gain a reputation, or gain another settle ship. And they've decided for this basic action, they're going to move this yellow settler up here to Mars. So they're currently one away from max capacity for settlers on Mars. The blue player can now finish out their turn by drawing another one of these tiles, and now we get to take our turn. 
Now, we have a bunch of people on Mars at the moment, and we have a few good options. Obviously, we have two of these red settler tiles, so we can pick up either of these and activate it three times, which does seem good. Uh, but another good option is we could take this Mars shuttle. Now, it's blue, and we do know that we potentially might get a shuttle going that'll get us points for these blue shuttles in the end of the game. And this also matches up with the colors that we have on Mars. So with that in mind, and the fact that this will allow us to get a purple or a blue settler onto Earth when we do it, I think this is probably the right call for us. Now this is especially the case when you consider that this is the second of our blue shuttles, which means we get to do this bonus twice, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. For now, we do have to move a blue, red, and yellow settler from Mars over to Ganymede, and that's going to be these three right here. Now, as far as our decision is concerned, we can split them up if we want to. We can send the blue over here, for instance, if we want to send this other blue over there later and to try to get a third one in to get the three of a kind. Or we could send all three of these down over here, and then we just need a purple to get over here, which is just two movement. Now, this will generate purple or blue settlers, and we get to do that twice. So that is definitely going to affect our decision here. And I think we will go ahead and send this blue one over here instead of down there. The reason for that is because this settler ship's bonus gives us two movement, so I think we want to complete this one sooner, and then when it goes away, we could potentially use that bonus two movement to slide the appropriate settlers maybe down here, or of course over here because we are definitely going to be replacing this with the ship that scores us points for the blue cards now. So with that in mind... We can now come over here and take this bonus twice. Now, each time we activate it, we get a blue or a purple settler, and I think we should do one and one. Now, the reason for this is because this will be our third blue to try and get over there, and the reason to take the purple is because there's currently a Earth shuttle out on the market, and it requires moving a purple and a blue from Earth over to Mars, and currently neither of our opponents have a purple and a blue on Earth. So this should be still available for us on the next round, and when we use this, it'll be our fourth out of five options, and that's interesting, actually. When we get a red, then we can send one of these shuttles away immediately, so maybe we will hold off on trying to get a red for a little bit until we get a brand new shuttle into one of these slots and then we could use this bonus to launch it without even putting any settlers on it. At this point we are done with our turn so the green player now gets to make a move. But instead of grabbing something from the middle of the table they have decided for the first time in the game to activate this third option for their turn. Now the way this works is they can discard one, two, or three of their settler tiles and for each one they discard they get a basic action. Now in this case, there aren't any yellow tiles on the market, so they're going to discard both of these, and that'll get them two basic actions. They have a variety of options to choose from, but they've decided to put both of them into moving up this reputation track. That means they're now getting two points at the end of the game, and of course they are planning on trying to get this uh, ship sent out, which will be worth the reputation track, so that's one of the reasons they're really pushing it. Now when they get to this spot, they will unlock another one of these basic actions, and with this one, they've decided to grab a red settler and put it right over there on Earth. With the green's turn done, the blue player now gets to go, and they like the look of this Mars shuttle that came out on our turn. They can add this right over here into their yellow column, and it's the first of their yellow cards, and this says they get to move a yellow, purple, and blue settler over to Ganymede. That means they can grab all of these, and they'll bring them down here, and then as a bonus, they get to do this once, and it's a single move, and they're just going to take this red and move it right down there. So they have now finished out their action, and we can see here that they do indeed have one of each of the four types, and that means this ship is going to take off out of the solar system, and it's pretty simple. It's just going to give them five victory points at the end of the game. The next thing Blue gets to do is draw one of these settler ships because they just sent one out, and Blue has never actually picked up any into their hand, so whatever they choose is going to go right into their docking bay. Since we're still in the early stages of the game, they decide to grab this one right here because as a bonus to get another settler of their choice to hopefully speed up the launching of future settler ships after this one. Blue's now done with their turn, so we can reveal some new cards here. We have a settler ship that's four points and a reputation bump, and then we get another one of these Mars shuttles, and that one moves a red, yellow, and purple, and gives you a wild color change. At this point, I think we should go with the plan we talked about on our last turn. This is a really good uh, shuttle for us right here, so we'll pick it up. And then when we dock it right over here, we have to move a purple and a blue over to Mars. And then we, of course, get to activate this bonus once since it's our first purple shuttle. And that's going to get us one yellow settler. That's going to finish out our turn so we can reveal another Earth shuttle. And green gets to pick. And they've decided to pick up this red Earth shuttle. 
that's going to slot right in over here, and they can move these two red settlers up to Mars. And then they can change the color of one of their settlers because they have just one of these red shuttles. And they have decided that they'd rather this yellow settler be red. That's going to finish out their turn, so blue now gets to pick. But it looks like they want to do this third action instead of picking up something from the row. And they're going to ditch all three of their tiles. They of course now get three basic actions, and they're simply going to take two blue settlers and a red settler, and that's going to finish out their turn. This means that we now get to go, and I think we have a pretty obvious pick actually. This is just a really good shuttle for us. And the reason for that is because this allows us to move both of these blue settlers right over here to this settler ship, and that's going to finish this one out, and it will launch at the end of our turn. Now we do of course have to discard one of our settler tiles to do that. The next thing we get to do is evaluate this bonus down here, and that is taking a basic action. And it looks like we get to do that three times because we have three blue cards. Now, in order to figure out what we want to do with these, we of course have to also consider the fact that we are going to get two free movement as a bonus when we launch this settlement ship. Now, the other thing that we do want to consider is the fact that this Mars shuttle is still out there in the middle of the table. And uh, if we took this on the next turn, then obviously that would get us a couple reputation, which would get us another basic action, and it's yellow, so it would give us another couple points once we launch this uh, settlement ship. So what that means is we probably want to have ourselves with a purple, a blue, and a yellow here on Mars. So I think for the first of these actions, let's take a blue settler, and we can add them right over here, and we can leave both of those right there, and with our bonus here for settlement, uh, for sending off this settled ship, we can move both of these over. So that means we now have two more basic actions available. And maybe we should consider the fact that this Earth shuttle exists, and it wants to move a blue and a yellow, and it is also a blue uh, shuttle. So if we took this, we would get four movement, and that is a very powerful effect. So I think that's going to be enough. Uh, we will go ahead and put a, another blue and another yellow settler right over here. And with that, we've actually reached capacity on Earth for settlers. Our action is now done, so that means this settler ship is going to launch out of the solar system, and we can see that that's going to be worth four points, and we of course get those two movement, and just like we talked about, we'll bring these right over here to set ourselves up well for the next turn. Since we launched a ship, we of course get to pull another one up from the board, but we do already have these in our hand, and I think these are just better than any of these other options, so let's just go ahead and take this one into our hand and not worry about it too much. And then, of course, we have to choose one of these and dock it over here, and I think it's pretty obviously going to be this one. Uh, we already have three of those red shuttles, so it's already worth six points, and it's very likely to become eight or even ten points based off of how many more of those blue shuttles we can grab. So let's finish out our turn, and we can refill the settle ships, and there's another five-pointer, and then we need another Mars shuttle, and now green gets to pick. And it looks like they want to pick up this settler tile. They can add that right over here, and then they get to do this twice, and it looks like they just want to grab two blue settlers. Next up, they will finish out their turn by drawing another settler tile, and now the blue player gets to go, and they've decided to grab this Earth shuttle right here. A uh, big reason for that is because this moves two blue from Earth, and they just saw that the green player just put two blue on Earth, so they wanted to make sure to grab this before the green player was able to. So they can add that right over here and move both of these over here, and it looks like they're just one purple card away from completing a full set, and now as a bonus they could take one settler of any type and put it on Earth. After looking things over, they're going to grab a yellow one, and that's going to finish out their turn. Let's now refill the spot in right here, and now we get to take our turn, and I think it's time for us to take our first red shuttle of the game. The reason for that, of course, is that we have now made one complete set, which means we will get a free bonus takeoff. Now, that's going to happen as soon as we uh, perform this shuttle action. So the first thing we do have to do is move a red settler from Earth up to Mars. And now we can see that we have one complete set, and that means we could just launch this ship right here. Uh, it does not matter if it's empty. We can choose between the two, and obviously this is a pretty huge bonus. Uh, that's going to be worth two points at the end of the game for every blue uh, uh, shuttle that we have, and we can add that right up here. And that is two out of the four that we would need in order to actually end the game. So at this point, we of course have to fill this in. And that means we have to choose one of these first, and I figure we'll grab this one right here. It's possible this reputation might be good for us. 
Next up, we have to choose one of these ships and put it down into this docking bay. And I think we should go with this one. It has a discount of one settler, so that means by going here, we just need two settlers of the same type. And at this point, I feel like we are in a pretty strong position in the game, so it's probably in our best interest to try and rush the end of the game. And obviously that would happen if we were able to get two more shuttles uh, filled up and sent off. And this one is pretty close to being there. And this one obviously has a nice discount. So I think we are setting ourselves up pretty well to try and close this game out. So our turn is done, and we can reveal some more cards here. We have another one of these that gives points for the settler tiles that you have at the end of the game, and then another Earth Shuttle. This one makes reputation. It's now time for Green to go, and they want to pick up this settler tile here. Now they can add that up here, and it looks like that's their third red settler tile, and that means they get to do this three times, and they can take a red settler or a reputation bump each time, and they've decided to go crazy on this track. Uh, they're really trying to commit to this strategy, even though they're starting to get a little worried at how fast we might be able to end the game. So with three reputation, they will go one, two, three, and they are now in the four-point section of this track, and it looks like they can now take a bonus basic action. With this, they're going to grab a yellow settler and put them over here on Earth, and that's going to finish out their turn. Let's now reveal another one of these settler tiles, and the blue player now gets to pick. And they have decided to grab this purple Earth shuttle. They can add that right over here, and that means they get to move a purple and a blue over here to Mars. And then down below, they get to do a blue color change. So what this means is they can change any one of their settlers to blue, or they can change any blue settler to a different color. And it looks like they have decided they want to turn this blue one into a yellow one. After that, we can look over here and see that they also have a full row of one of each type. Uh, they haven't actually doubled up on anything so far in this game yet, and that means they can immediately launch either of these two. And they've decided it's going to be this one right here. That's going to get them four points at the end of the game, and it means they can put a settler of any color down here on Earth. After considering their options, they're just going to put a blue down right over here, and now they have to refill this dock. The blue player still has not drawn any of these into their hand, so whatever they pick will go right into that spot. And considering they don't have any settler tiles right now, they think the best call for them is just going to be this five-point card. So they can finish out their turn by filling in these spots. Ooh, we've got this one right here, which I think they would much rather have had. It's worth six points for every complete set of the shuttle cards that you have. So that's slightly better than five. And then, of course, we can refill this spot in here with an Earth shuttle. It's time for us to take our turn, and at this point, I think we really do need to grab this Mars shuttle. It's been out here, I think, all game long, and we are now ready to use it, and it looks like the blue player could also use this, so let's grab it before they can. This can slot right in over there, and that means we will move a blue, yellow, and purple. And in this case, we need a blue and a purple down here, so that's going to finish out this uh, ship on this turn, and then the yellow we can send right over there. After we do that, we can look down here and we will generate two reputation. So we will go up right here and we've gone from zero to one. So that's an extra point, which is nice. And we get a bonus basic action. When we consider the fact that we can end the game once we launch this shuttle and it has a discount, I figure our basic action should just be moving this yellow settler right up here. So we're one move away from that. Now that we're done with our actions, we can launch this ship. And then we have to grab a new one, and I figure we'll grab this one that's worth 6 points per set, even though I don't think we're actually going to launch this one. That being said, we do have to put a ship over here, and it may as well be this one we just grabbed. Let's end our turn by drawing another ship, and this one is worth 2 points at the end of the game for every red shuttle you have. And then we need another Mars shuttle. It's now the green player's turn. After considering their options, they're going to grab this Mars shuttle which they could then add right over here, and that's going to let them move both of these red settlers over here to Ganymede, but they do have to discard one of their settler tiles. Next up, we can see that they have two red shuttles, and that means they get two basic actions. Now, one thing they could do is they could move this red settler uh, twice right over here to send off this ship, but instead, they've decided they think it's better for them to just go up their reputation twice. Green can now finish out their turn by drawing the top Mars shuttle, and now blue gets to go. And it looks like they were planning on taking the shuttle, but they like the look of this one better. The first thing they get to do when they add this over here is they can move any two of their settlers from Mars over to Ganymede, as well as a purple one. And that means they've decided to grab all of these and move them down there. And now they get two basic activations because they have two of these white shuttles. For the first of these, they're going to move this purple settler right up to Mars, and for the second of these, they've decided to change the color of this blue settler into a purple settler on Earth. 
They can now finish out their turn by drawing the top Mars shuttle, and now we get to take our next turn. Now at this point, I think the best thing for us to do is to try and end the game. Uh, the reason for that is because I think we are currently in the lead as far as points are concerned, but our opponents are very close behind, and I think the longer the game goes on, the more likely they are to overtake us. A uh, big reason for that is because of the reputation track, and I think considering we are in a position to be able to end the game on this round, we should probably do it. Now we can do that obviously by moving this yellow settler over here because we have a one settler discount, and that one movement can be done by doing this third action right here, which lets us discard one to three of these tiles, and we get one to three of the basic actions. Now, I've looked down at all the card options in the middle of the table, and none of them seem to match up with what we have to get this extra movement, so let's just go ahead and do it. We will move from here over to there. That's going to finish out our action, so we can now launch this uh, ship right here, and this is going to go right up there, and there's no reason to refill the spot, because by having four of these launched settler ships, we have now ended the game, or at least triggered the end of the game, and we will now finish out the round. Now, we were the starting player, which means that both of our opponents get one more turn. So the green player can now take their final action of the game, and with that, they're going to discard both of their settler tiles right here, and that will get them two basic actions, and with those, they will go up twice on the reputation track. Now that means they have maxed out, and they actually get one of these symbols right here, and that means they get an immediate launch of one of their ships. Now, it looks like uh, pretty obvious to me that they want to launch this one right here. Uh, that's because it's worth points equal to their reputation level, which is now six. Also, it is worth noting that when the game is over, each player will get one point for every one of their settlers that they have on Ganymede on a ship that has not launched just yet. So they'd rather send this out and leave those two there because those are giving them two points at the moment. That's going to finish out their turn, and there's no reason to fill this in because that was their final turn. All right, blue is now up, and for their final action, they're going to pick up this Mars shuttle. Now, the first thing they get to do with this is move a purple and a yellow settler from Mars over to Ganymede, and they set this up really well last turn with that bonus. Now, they can move this yellow one right over here, which will finalize this ship, and the purple one will go right over there. And now we can look down here and see that they get two movement because they have two of these purple uh, cards right here. And with those movements, they're going to take this purple settler once to Mars and then once over here to Ganymede because, again, every single settler on a ship that has not launched is worth one point. So now they've finished out their action, and this ship right here is going to launch. And it's a pretty simple one. It's just worth five points to them at the end of the game. Now that Blue is done with her turn, the game is officially over, and it's time to count up our points. Now, we only get points from three different things. One is our launched settler ships, the second is our reputation tracks, and the third are our settlers on the ships that have not launched just yet. Now, over here, we can look to see that we have four points, plus two points for every one of our blue shuttle cards, and we have three of those, so that is six. And then two more points for every yellow shuttle card, and that's four more. Then we have four more for this, and finally, a single point for our reputation track. All told, that's going to be a final score of 19 for us, because of course we don't have any settlers on this ship here. And now the green player over here only got two of their ships launched, but they're pretty good. Uh, this first one is worth four points, and this second one is worth points equal to their reputation track level, which is six. So that means this is six plus four, or ten points for their launched ships, and then the reputation track will give them six more points, and they get two additional points from these settlers here who have not launched yet. All told, that is 18 points, so they are just one point behind us. And finally, we have the blue player over here. They got three shuttles launched, and it looks like none of them have conditions on them. That's just 5 plus 4 plus 5, or 14 points for those three shuttles. And then the reputation level is 1. And finally, they have two of their settlers on an unlaunched ship. Now, when they add all of their points up, that means they have a final score of 17, and that's going to put them in third place. Green is in second place then with 18, and we are just barely going to win with 19 points. Now, it is worth noting that if we had tied with the green player, for instance, if they had had 19 points, then the first tiebreaker is whoever has the most settlers on Mars. So we would have won that tiebreaker. If that was the same, then it would be the most settlers on Earth, and it looks like uh, the green player would have won that one. But either way, that doesn't matter. We have the clear win, and this is going to finish our full three-player game of Ganymede. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I always love it when it's really close there at the end, and this game was certainly one of those. Uh, it's great that we were able to win the game, but the green player was so close behind us, and it was interesting to see them do a very different strategy throughout this game. Obviously, they were focusing on the reputation track because they were able to pick up some of those settler ships that got them points for the reputation track, or they were able to bump up the reputation track, which made it a little bit easier to get to the end there. And uh, we had four ships at the end, and the green player had two, and they were just one point behind us. Now, obviously, the reputation track scored the green player six points uh, by itself, and then another six points for one of their ships, and we only got one point for our reputation track. So that was a five-point difference between those, which is effectively the score of the non uh, combo -y settler ships. So that's like they sort of had another settler ship launched. They just did it through a reputation track instead of actually launching ships like we did. Now, unfortunately, the blue player was doing something similar to us where they were going for the uh, diverse card strategy, but they did not get as many big combo turns off as we did. Um, they did more of the settler actions, and those can be good because you can remove them to do the uh, basic actions for each of the settler tiles that you get rid of. But in the end, I think we leveraged our combos a little bit better than the blue player, and that is why we were able to win. So yeah, I think that's wrapped up pretty much all of my thoughts on this one. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including all of these producer-level Patreon backers. If you too would like to directly support these videos, then please go to johngetsgames.com support to see a variety of ways with which you could do that. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button down below as well as the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.